Queens of Europe, Ines de Castro, the Corpse Queen. Galician noblewoman and courtesan Ines de Castro is well known for being King Pedro I of Portugal's posthumously acknowledged wife and former lover. Ines has been a popular subject of art, music, and drama throughout history due to the dramatic circumstances surrounding her relationship with Pedro, at the time Prince of Portugal, which was forbidden by his father, King Alfonso IV. Pedro Fernández de Castro, Lord of Lemos and Saria, and his aristocratic Portuguese mistress, Aldonza Lorenzo de Valardes, had a daughter, Ines, via natural descent. Her family was derived from both the Portuguese and Galician nobility. Infanta Beatriz of Portugal, the youngest child of Violante Manuel and Alfonso of Portugal, Lord of Porto Alegre, served as her stepmother. Violante Sanchez of Castilla, Lady of Ucero, the illegitimate daughter of Sancho IV of Castilla, was her grandmother. Rodrigo Alfonso de Leon, Lord of Aliger, was her great-grandpa. As a lady-in-waiting for Constance of Castilla, Inés arrived in Portugal around 1340. The already shaky ties with Castilla were jeopardized when the prince fell in love with her and began to ignore his legal wife. Prince Pedro's devotion to Inés also placed the exiled Castilian nobles extremely near to the throne, with her brothers serving as the prince's confidants and allies. Pedro's father, King Alfonso IV of Portugal, disapproved of Inés' influence on his son and patiently waited for their mutual passion to pass. However, it did not. In 1349, Constance of Castilla passed away, and Pedro refused to choose a bride other than Inés, who was also not qualified to be queen, despite Alfonso IV's repeated attempts to arrange for his son to be remarried. The fact that Pedro and Inés' illegitimate children flourished while Pedro's illegitimate son, the future King Ferdinand I of Portugal, was a fragile youngster, caused even greater unease amongst the Portuguese nobility, who feared Pedro's increasing Castilian influence. Inés had been exiled from the court by Alfonso IV in 1344, but Pedro stuck by her and referred to her as his genuine love. Alfonso IV finally ordered Inés' execution after several attempts to keep the lovers apart. Inés was imprisoned in the monastery of Santa Clara in Cumbria when Pedro Coelho, Ivaro González, and Diogo López Pacheco went there and murdered her, decapitating her in front of her young child. When Pedro learned of this, he went in search of the murderers and was successful in capturing two of them in 1361. It is said he ripped out their hearts in front of everyone. Pedro, by this point, had already been known as Pedro I of Portugal. He then claimed he had secretly wed Inés, who was now legitimate queen. Some sources say that after Pedro became king of Portugal, he had Inés' body exhumed from her grave and forced the entire court to swear allegiance to the new queen. Some contemporary sources refer to it as a legend and believe it to be a myth. Later, she was buried at the monastery of Albaga, where her coffin is still visible next to Pedro's, so that, according to mythology, Pedro and Ines will be able to see one another when they rise from their graves at the Last Judgment. Both marble coffins are beautifully carved with the image from their life, and Pedro's pledge that they will be together, quote, at the end of the world, end quote. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share with a friend, and I'll see you next time.